China's first Type 075 amphibious assault ship has caught fire as it was undergoing construction in its dry dock at Hudong Zhenghua Shipbuilding, Shanghai. It's still unclear the amount of damage the fire has caused to the warship. Also, it's still not clear how the fire broke out. According to the drive, the fire might have started in its well deck. Viewers may note that the deck is the space in this kind of vessel where ship-to-shore transport boats and hovercraft are stored and launched, along with amphibious fighting vehicles. The Type 075 carrier is essentially similar to the U.S. Navy's America-class assault carriers. In this video, Defense updates reports on the Chinese Type 075 amphibious assault ship catching fire. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account. The Type 075 LHA or Landing Helicopter Dock is a class of Chinese amphibious assault ships under construction by the Hudong Zhenghua Shipbuilding Company. The Type 075 Helicopter Dock is a new generation of amphibious assault vessels and far larger than similar ships previously constructed for the PLA Navy. The Type 075 would give the Chinese Navy the ability to launch various types of helicopters to attack naval vessels, enemy ground forces, or submarines. The vessels will also be able to deploy landing craft and troops, plus house command and control operations. On September 25, 2019, the plan officially launched the first Type 075. A second Type 075 is being simultaneously built in the same dry dock as the first Type 075 and it's likely that the third planned Type 075 will be built in the same location. The development work on Type 075 officially started in 2011. The image of construction was revealed in March 2019 and the first ship in this class was launched on September 25, 2019. The second ship in this class was likely to be launched any time now. The Type 075 class has a full-length flight deck for helicopter operations and features a floatable well deck from which to disembark hovercraft and armored amphibious assault vehicles. The Chinese Navy officially started development work on Type 075 in 2011. The project envisaged for a helicopter carrier displacing more than 30,000 tons. As per reports, the vessels of this class have a length of 237 meters and displace around 36,000 tons when fully loaded. To give viewers a perspective, the Type 075 is slightly smaller than the U.S. Navy's WASP LHA. It's larger compared to French Mistral class and Australian Canberra class. The vessel is powered by a 9,000 kilowatt diesel engine. Several analysts have stated that the Type 075 will be able to carry around 30 helicopters. The vessels will most likely carry Super Freilon and its derivatives. The Super Freilon was the most heavily used by naval air arms, such as the French Navy and the People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force. On the 30th of April 2010, the type was retired by the French Navy, having been replaced by a pair of Eurocopter EC-225 helicopters as a stopgap measure pending the availability of the NH Industries NH-90 helicopter. The Super Freilon was in use for an extended period within China where it was manufactured under license and sold by the Harbin Aircraft Industry Group as the Harbin Z-8. A modernized derivative of the Z-8, marked as the Avicopter AC-313, performed its first flight on the 18th of March 2010. 
These can carry torpedoes as well as anti-ship missiles. For self-defense, the vessels of this class will carry four close-in weapon systems that include two HQQ-10 and two HPJ-11. The Haihong Ki-10 or HHQ-10 for short is a Chinese naval SAM system. It's similar to design to the US-made RIM-116 RAM system. The launcher is also similar to that of the RAM with a rectangular launcher sporting 24 sealed launch tubes. It rotates through 60 degrees and the oscillating design allows for very high elevation and depression. This short-range air defense system was first publicly revealed in 2008. It looks like the system was first fielded in 2012 or 2013. Once fired, the HHQ-10 achieves a flight speed of Mach 2 within seconds. It has a maximum effective range of 9 kilometers or 5.6 miles. The Type 730 or HPJ-12 is a Chinese 7-barreled 30mm Gatling gun CIWS. It's mounted in an enclosed automatic turret and directed by radar and electro-optical tracking systems. The maximum rate of fire is 5,800 rounds per minute and the effective range is up to 3 kilometers or about 1.85 miles. The warship was launched on September 25th last year and is being fitted out before sea trials. The smoke was reported on Chinese social media platforms earlier. Images seem to indicate that the fire started in the aircraft hangar. Smoke came out of the open aircraft lift near the front of the island superstructure as well as the rear hangar opening. Reports indicate that for some time the cloud of smoke rose high into the air and would have been visible for miles away. Though the fire was put out, it seems to have caused significant smoke damage to the hull. The extent of the damage inside is not yet known and given the way the Chinese operate, it's likely that the details may never come out in a public domain. Black stains are now clearly visible on the ship's large well deck in the stern. This incident is a reminder to the Russian aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov. The Kuznetsov was stationed inside floating dock PD-50. The dock capable of handling vessels up to 80,000 tons is the biggest one Russia has and one of the largest in the world. On the 30th of October 2018, the dock's tank started to take in water and led to the tilting of the dock on one side. One of the PD-50's two cranes, which are 70 tons each, fell on the deck of the Kuznetsov. This resulted in a hole of 4 by 5 meters. The second crane also got an imbalance and, as per some reports, fell into the sea. Somehow PD-50 did not capsize and, as the water filled the dock, Kuznetsov floated and was tugged out. In about four hours, PD-50 went down and sank. The incident is a setback for the People's Liberation Army Navy, but the incident is not expected to delay the induction of the ship to a very great extent since it seemed to have been dealt with quickly. Currently, the main ships for amphibious assault role available to the People's Liberation Army Navy are the Type 071 Landing Platform Docks LPD, which are equivalent to the US Navy's San Antonio class amphibious transport dock. So, Type 075 will be a major leap and will be the backbone of China's amphibious warfare capability going forward. Analysts point out that probably three ships of this class will be built and are being manufactured, most likely keeping Taiwan in mind. China views Taiwan as a breakaway province and wants to bring it in its fold in the future. Taiwan is currently a self-governing democracy. The Taiwan Strait is tactically important since it separates China from Taiwan and China will have to move its forces across the strait in case it decides to invade. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.